HGTV. Today I will be showing you how to install auxiliary contacts on the ABB AF series of contactors. I will be using the AF26 contactors to represent contactors up to AF96. On this series, a coil terminal block for A1 and A2 connections may be included on the top. This can be removed by pulling on the tab until it unlatches where I can move the coil terminal block on the bottom if I would like to make my coil connection from underneath. I will keep this at the top by placing the pins at the A1 and A2 opening and then sliding the terminal block until it snaps into place. The contactors use CAL 411 side mount auxiliary contact blocks. There is no need to adjust the contact block itself for installation. I can simply snap it into the side. I can remove the contact in the same way by pulling on the lever and pulling the contact towards me as I would normally be removing this while it is mounted to a panel or DIN rail. Front mount auxiliary contacts such as the CA4 can be installed by sliding over the front part of the contactor. The two pole CAT4 can also be installed in the same way, but they also need to connect to the front accessible coil terminals. The pins will line up to the top of these terminals and then slide down. On the larger contactors from AF116 to AF370, I will be using the CAL1911B. This side mount auxiliary contact does not have a tab on the back, but instead two gray colored tabs on the front. In order to remove a contact, these will both need to be pushed down. Once free from the latch, it will easily come off. The auxiliary contacts can be installed by simply lining up the contact with the contactor and snapping it into place. For more information on the AF series, please check out our other videos on GTV. ABB's AF series of auxiliary contacts, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at galco.com.